Good morning, Marla. Hey, Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we um, have been a little more settled, and we're back to filming more. So, uh, anyway, we're glad y'all are hanging in there with us. But uh, Marla and I just do this for fun. We enjoy getting together and cooking, especially because she's yes. such a good cook. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I know she's Marcia a dessert is maker. An and excellent cook. Well, thank you, but she's a dessert maker. Y'all know that, and that's y'all are in luck today because we we're going to make this delicious chocolate cobbler. So I had never had chocolate co cobbler. Um, Mama and Ed didn't make it when I was born. Did mm -hmm. your mother make it? No. Yeah, I, I'd never even heard of it. And I, I think one day I just ran across the recipe and I went, oh, well, that sounds good. That's what can be wrong? I know. What can be wrong with that? I don't know if we ever heard of fruit cobblers. I know. You know, know. just peach or yeah. apple. Yeah, but, that's, um, all we, that's all we ever had when we were growing up was just the fruit. But this... My mama did used to make chocolate um, pies. Like oh, fruit yeah. pies, you know, the hand pies? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Did your yeah. mom ever mm -mm. make those? She really didn't make hand pies, but she made the best chocolate pie you ever had. Oh, about. yeah, chocolate pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. really, really good. My mama would make the best after-school uh, treats for us. Really? All the time we'd come home from school, and she'd, she'd have chocolate pies or mm -hmm. fruit pies. or I had vanilla wafers and peanut butter. <laughs> That's what I remember eating after school was vanilla good, wafers good. and peanut butter. That's good. Those are easy. I don't think I've ever had a vanilla wafer and peanut butter. Oh, you have? You know what? Oh, I don't so like good. I'm not a peanut butter person. Well, I'm not really either. Isn't that strange? Uh, no, no, because I'm not either. But I did see? like, I do, I like them all vanilla wafers, but I'm not a peanut butter either. Peanut yeah. butter and jelly? I never uh -huh. did, uh -huh. did peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which everybody freaks out about because... That's a staple for your peanut butter. During the summer jelly. when you're, you know, out running around yeah. as a child, it was like, oh, everybody what do you have? Peanut jelly. butter and jelly. I just wanted ham. <laughs> <laughs> An expensive treat. That's an expensive yeah. sandwich. I just wanted ham. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to make chocolate cobbler. And uh, it's a real quick dessert, and you can make it, you know, if you want something chocolate but you don't want a lot of it. This is just made in an eight by eight dish. So you have enough for, you know, yeah. You but, and you know, yeah. another person, but you're it's not like you're making something you're gonna be eating on for ever. Uh, yeah. Mm, or you know <laughs> week. You know, I mean, you know, when you have sweets around the house, they don't go to waste. That's yeah. why like, you just need a little bit of something but not yeah. a whole lot. So, really? so okay. we have this first eight by eight dish that we okay. we sprayed it with some um Pam. Pam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We sprayed it with her. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some, we've got four tablespoons of melted butter that we pour in the bottom pour in of the here. dish. Okay. Yep, let's pour that in there. And then um, in a bowl, Marsha, we're going to mix uh, one cup of all purpose flour. Okay. It's the all purpose. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Which is right, right there. Here. One and a half teaspoons yep. baking powder. Yep. Okay. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll All just right. throw that in Thank there. You. Okay. And then we need three quarters cup of oh. sugar, white sugar. There goes the train. And we have the train. Love the train. Last time we filmed, it never went by. I know. Not one but time. Where is our train? Oh, oh, wait. I really it missed it. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning to go by. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I hear it. I miss it when it's not here. Um, okay, so we mix that and then three tablespoons of the cocoa. Unsweetened cocoa. Okay. That goes in here too? Yep. See how easy this is? It's super easy. And especially easy, and we've talked about this before, about having all your, your items pre-measured in little bowls, and you don't, because what happens if I don't do this, I'll put this in there, put that, the phone will ring, and I'll go, oh no, did I put the salt and sugar, because you can't tell which is which. So anyway. It's so much easier to just have everything right here, and you just dump, yes. dump, dump, have it all lined up, ready to go. Of course, we're probably a little bit... Um, anal. I didn't want to say that word, but we're a little <laughs> anal about doing that. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's true. Uh, OCD. Yes. Okay, so we got flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, three tablespoons of cocoa. Okay. And we mix that, and then we have um, half a cup of milk. Okay. We add that. In here? Mm-hmm. Half a cup. 
chocolate milk. And then uh, we're going to use my homemade vanilla. Yes. I think this has probably been, um, I've had, I've had this about a year. Yeah, and it's, so it's probably about, uh, I, I didn't, you can't use it. It takes a year before you can use yeah, it. So this is probably uh, a couple years old. Margo, uh, Margo. Is Margo. that your name? Marla. Marla um, told y'all about her famous homemade vanilla, but kind of just tell them quickly how you did it. You just make your own, yeah, you order some uh, vanilla beans and um, you mix it with some vodka. You uh, use a, a an ounce of beans uh, for eight ounces and then eight ounces of whatever liquor you want to put in there and then you have to let it sit for about a year. So really you could use vodka, rum, anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then, and each, you know, it, each, each alcohol gives it a different flavor and then you can use that with different, uh -huh. different items. This is vodka and uh, vanilla beans and it, it just smells so good. It sure does. It makes just some of the, the like the vanilla that you buy at the store. You know, it's mixed with other things. Mm -hmm. and so what we do is put in a teaspoon okay. of vanilla, and you know when it comes to vanilla, a little extra does oh. not hurt. So let's just put a little bit more. Oh yeah, and it makes it really good, especially so in good. something chocolate. Yep. Um, so. We stir it and combine that, and then we spoon it into this pan, Marsha, right. just on top of the butter, but we don't mix it in. Okay. We just kind of mix that for me. Oh. I'm going to let Marla uh, mix this for me. I have a hurt hand. <laughs> she does have a hurt hand. <laughs> um, actually, uh, I, her Michael Jackson I have a Michael Jackson glove. I definitely suggest everybody go get a full body scan at least once a year. Uh, um, I always do. This actually was a little cancer, um, and they, you know, cut it out, sewed it up, and it's sore. <laughs> so she but has a little injury. I have a little injury, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm just glad that, well, actually, you didn't have to do a full body scan to see this. It came up, and uh, I knew it was not normal, a normal, you know, place. So I went and got it cut out. Well, I'm glad that you... Went and got it checked, and, and you yeah. know what? I, um, it's it's it was uh, what is Squamish? <laughs> what is uh, am I saying the word right? Uh, I don't know. I know you got basal skin cancer, and I think it's called Squamish. I'm, I think I'm saying that wrong, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and so when it popped up, it was like this is strange. But so when I was in in the uh, uh, dermatologist, and they were you know taking care of this. I said, do y'all see these often? And she said, you're the fourth person today that has come in with uh, the Squamish cell cancer. Mm -hmm. And it was like, really? I thought this was probably something rare. rare she, goes, she said, we don't see three a day, but you are the first, fourth person, but we see a lot of it. So It's so scary, too, because you know, I know both of us were sun. Oh, yeah. We love the beach. beach. We love to lay mm -hmm. out. And with, with our baby oil and iodine. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we, you know, sunscreen, we just... It, Nobody worried about it. Yeah. Then. So. So now... We're making, we're paying for it. We're paying for it, and all I can do now is just get my 50 sunscreen on everywhere. <laughs> yeah, because we love to be out in the sun, you know, just daily basis. But, you know, definitely get in the habit, waking up, put your sunscreen everywhere, even if you're not, you know, at the pool or the beach. So they say, and put your hats on. And That's my PSA for the, for the day. They say to do, I mean, you'd have to do that even... Just when you're just uh, on a regular I know, day, I know. even if you're not. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, all right, but I'll be fine. It's just that it hurts to um, right now to to uh, bend my fingers because they probably you know I got a pretty nice little scar there. <laughs> it's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got it checked. Me too. Okay, what's next? Okay, so now we combine in this little bowl. Okay, we need another spoon. Yeah. Um. Um, we have got a half a cup of sugar, okay. half a cup of sugar, and then we've got half a cup of brown sugar, brown sugar, and a quarter cup of the cocoa. Okay. Yeah, there you go. 
and we just mix that and then we sprinkle it over this. Okay. See, even like at night when you're you've already had dinner and you're kind of going, man, I wish I had some dessert. This is a great um, one to make because it just it doesn't take very long. And you could just whip this up mm -hmm. in no time and you've got a good little treat. And most of these most of these items you probably have in your, your cabinet. If you cook at all, you've got all these in your cabinet. We didn't even yeah. have to go to the pig and uh -uh. get anything. We between us we both had everything we needed yep. because it's just sugar and baking powder and flour and just your basic staples that everybody's got. So if you're sitting there after dinner one night going, man, I wish I had <laughs> something sweet. But you're watching Netflix. And yep. It's like, okay, pause it. I've got to go make this. You can just run in the kitchen and throw this together. I can't, I can't miss it. Miss what's going on. And make sure you have some blue bunny vanilla oh, yes. ice cream. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You might have to run to the store to get, get that. that. No, we don't, because they'll eat ice cream in the night. <laughs> that, does he really? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, then you've always got that. We always have ice cream. All right, so what we do is we just sprinkle. Okay. Sprinkle this on the top. So we get this all mixed up. That little, that uh, brown sugar was a little lumpy. Lumpy, wasn't it? Lumpy, but not bad. And it will. Okay, so sprinkle this on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just sprinkle mm -hmm. it. Yeah, oh just my like goodness. that. It's going to be so good. Oh, that looks good. And then what we have is some some almost boiling water. We have some hot water that we just slowly pour over it. If you like chocolate, this is the dessert for you. This is chocolate. And it's the ooey gooey center that... Oh, yeah, it's just going to be so good. So we're going to slowly pour this water over the top of this. Okay, perfect. Right. And then what we do is put it in a 350 degree oven for 35 to um, 40 minutes mm -hmm. until the center is just set because it, it's not going to set all the way like you can't use a toothpick to mm -hmm. test it because mm -hmm. it's the inside is like the chocolate the, the lava yes <laughs> the molten lava that I could remember the last time yeah no <laughs> all right don't mix it don't mix it oh yeah for some reason you just want to mix it don't, I know, don't mix it okay I know okay, it's going to be hard to show you because this is liquid, but we're going to put this in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. All right. And then we are going to uh, get our ice cream all ready. <laughs> and we're going to have a bite. <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to show y'all what it looks like when it's finished and how it looks. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few minutes. All set up. See okay. you later. Bye. Bye. All right. All right. Okay, All we are back. Right. <laughs> we have got the chocolate cobbler. You would not believe how good it smells. In it smells here. so good. It smells so good. And uh, it's 10.45 in the morning. <laughs> and I think this is going to be our lunch. The only thing we really need is a cup of coffee. To go oh, yeah, that would be good. I love coffee and something sweet. So um, we're going to scoop out just a little bit of this. Oh, look how pretty. We're not really going to, look how hot that is. I know. We're not really going to eat a whole bunch. Is that enough for you, Marcia? Yes. Um, we're just going to taste it right now. Just to let you see how, how pretty, look how good and chocolatey that is. And the so, center um, is, it's, it looks like, you know, almost like chocolate syrup in the center. So it, it, it's not uh, like a brownie. It's not, it looks like, when you just look at it like this, it could look like it could be a brownie, but it's not. It's, it's gooey. It's really gooey. Yummy. So now. So we've got some ice cream. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put, I just want just a tiny amount. Marcia, yeah, it's perfect. Are you sure? Bluebell ice cream is so good. Okay. So good. So, all right. It's really hot, and that ice cream is going to melt is right. right now. Oh, Marla, you got a little bitty bite. <laughs> I won't eat all this. I promise. I can't. It's too good, too yummy. Too early in the morning. 
Well, I am going to have a bite. And the top gets a little crunch on it. And the center is gooey. Oh, my. And the cold ice cream is melting. Um, do you like it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what kind of reminds me of? The, the Shelly's chocolate sun hot, I mean, fudge, hot cake. fudge cake. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. It is. We need some a little squirt of um, whipped mm -hmm. cream with a cherry on top. We do. I'm telling you, this is delicious. <clears throat> totally would be a crowd pleaser. I know I have to say that about everything we make, but yes, and it um, it's not bitter chocolate at all. I don't like uh, dark bitter chocolate. A lot of people do. I don't. Mm -mm. This is just a nice sweet with the ice cream. So y'all try this. Let us know how you liked it. Yeah, y'all let us know how you like it. Um, we always like to hear feedback from We everybody. love to see the comments. So mm -hmm. y'all let us know. Yes, and thank it's you so really much. Good. Yeah. It's a good treat for your family. Um, like our page, share our page. We would certainly appreciate it. And we enjoyed making this for y'all. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.